Edward, I'm sorry, my bro, but I'm officially dumping ya. You are officially no longer useful as a character. Sorry! So, therefore, I'll just forfeit slash dick, and... Yeah, the Brave Sword. Sure. Bargain here, the three old by grasses. And I recommend buying them, actually. They're cheap, and they're gonna be using Lagoos a lot to get through through the day if you're following if they're gonna follow something like mine. Alright. I have now three Paragon scrolls to roll around with. Which is awesome. One of them is going to Mickey. That one's going off of Aaron. He doesn't need that one anymore. One of them is going to Khalil. And you are overdue for a level you're overdue for a class change, Laura Dearest, so we're gonna do that real quick. Magic, skill, speed, magic and speed are now maxed. HP, skill, luck, skill is maxed. HP, luck, resistance, resistance is maxed. Class change, go! Excuse me. She seriously should have gotten this class change in part one when she had the chance. But due to this game being unable to ba properly balance characters, we're doing this so late in the game, it hurts. It honestly hurts. Ooh, nice robes. Bishop! H plus 2, strength plus 3, magic plus 1, skill plus 1, combo plus 1, speed plus 1, defense plus 3, res plus 1, move plus 1. About fucking time! Ugh. The last paragon's gonna go to you. Because it's, I really don't have anyone else to put it on. To be honest. Uh. Don't. Why not? I mean, I might as well put it to use. Remove beast foe because no beasts here, there, or there, or there. Oh, by the way, if you're actually really serious about using saws, make sure he's a pretty high level up by the end of this map. Let's see why. Okay, Khalil. Let's stock her with some awesomeness. There's a fire tome for you, wind tome for you. Yeah, I think that'll do. Just anything else. Voluk. He's going to need a healing item. Pulmonary for you. Instead of all of my grass. Jill is fine. Hey, look! It's Harman! He's going to show these fools how we roll. Uh, tactical nuke. Steel axe. Since I bought one, I might as well use a silver axe. Killer axe for hit. Hand axe for range. And I'm not gonna be using the Luchi so vulnerable. Yay! Now Harman's ready to kick ass. Let's give another spear to um Aaron. Or Slayer. Some for Chuck Dolan. Uh, yeah, he's found that steel pole axe. Put a silver axe there. I mean, I bought it. Might as well use it. Uh, 
tomahawk. Sure. And a vulnerary. Need a vulnerary. Not gonna be using either of you, so you can keep your equipment the way they are. Actually, no, I have a spare light tome. I can give it to Laura. Just in case, you know, she actually does get attacked. And, uh, do her. Oh, RTF, it's from here too. <laughs> Seriously, Leanne's not gonna be needing that. If she gets hit, she if she she wants to get stared at, she's gonna die, so there's no point. Oh, I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, almost 40 minutes in now, and we haven't even started this damn map. Let's go, before my, before my mind deteriorates. Solve! Wake everyone up and have them gather at the square! Enemies are on the way! Whoa. All right, I'm on it. Lady Mikaya, has the enemy arrived already? Not yet, but they're coming. I'm sure of it. I can't spill troops' weapons. How can you be certain? I don't know who they are or their exact numbers, but the enemy army is massive. I know it sounds strange, but it's swear it's true. You must believe me. No one doubts your gift, Micaiah. I will not ignore the words of one who has spoken with the voice of a goddess. Ah, <sighs> she is a true Mary Sue through and through. Uh. Micaiah, it looks like you were right. We have guests. Whoa! It has magically appeared out of nowhere. What? Leave them to me. The weak among you should hide, for the battle will be fierce. Empress Sonaki, we should leave the fighting General Skirmir. I will take you someplace safe. No! I will stay and fight with the others! With all the respect, Empress, I cannot allow it. What if you were injured? If Micaiah, an untrained girl from the streets of Dane, is fighting, then I shall stand my ground as well. Whoa! Sonaki is about to kick ass? Empress. This I gotta see. You can't win an argument with royalty, but don't worry about her. I'll look after the Apostle. That is a kind offer, but I must decline. It is the first and most sacred duty of the Holy Knights to protect the Apostle. It looks like the enemies want to take this argument out of our hands! They're here! Uh-oh. Can we start fighting now, please? You'll be okay. Stop talking. Take your positions. Now! Finally! Some action! Alright, part four begin. We have six fucking units we have to bring. Icky, Sov, Sonic, Sick Run, Skrimir, and Nesala. Everyone else, do what you will with. One more. Wait, did I take out Leanne? I did. Yeah, I have to, I have to bring Leanne. It was a pain to do it. Okay, so if you... Eh. Get used to seeing this. If you thought route missions weren't tedious, monotonous, or boring, I think you might want to change your mind once you get through part 4, because that's all part 4 is. Tedious, monotonous, and boring missions. Until the last chapters. Surprise, surprise. Our opponents today are the, are the disciples of order. As you're probably like guessing they're tier 2 classes, but they're actually pretty powerful for their level. And you're thinking, why is this? What? What's going on? I'm gonna spoil it for you. These are actually uh, Begneon rookies, who were unfought, who were unturned to stone. They were, they were de-stoned because Astro wants to use them to stop you. <laughs> and she decides to bless them. So they're a little more powerful than they were before. That's a stupid excuse to avoid fighting third tiers, but... Uh, no, 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 I want to fight third tiers with proper mastery skills. And don't say because with the mastery skills they're broken. They could have just easily toned them down. Regardless of that, 
Regardless of that, regardless of that, the Disciples of Water, they, while they may not have mastery skills, they at least have any secondary supplementary skills that any third tier regular B York unit has, like Albert ears have critical plus 10, which are, sent which are a sentinel, which is a sentinel skill. And you get what I mean, right? So they're basically tier 2 classes with tier 3 stats. Tier 2.5, as the fandom calls them. They're boring and they keep coming. They will never stop coming. And it's going to get old fast. Very fucking fast. It's two new people to join us. Prepare yourselves, peasants! First up is Sonicky. She is an empress. And she ain't half bad of a mage, to be all be quite honest. I'd pretty much go so far as call her Micaiah Light, because she has pretty much the same uh, stat uh, stat spread as Micaiah uh, as Micaiah would. She didn't suck. Being an Empress, she's able to use fire magic, thunder magic, wind magic, and light magic with a precision proficiency in fire, so she can get a double S rank in fire. She comes with Symbolane, which is her personal fire spell. It is awesome, and I love it so much, because she drops the fucking sun on people! It's a, it's a great spell. Love it. She also has an Arc Wind and Arc Thunder in her and Elixir. And she even has four Authority Stars! She also has Flare, which is the mastery skill for Arc Sages. Negates resistance and restores e HP equal to the damage dealt. A wonderful skill! The only real problems with Sonic is the fact that she has really low HP, strength, and defense. So it's going to hinder her kind of low speed and kind of low skill and really low speed because she's going to have some weight problems. So if you're really serious about using her, I suggest using a energy drop, a speed wing, a seraph rope, or something of the combination of the three, just to get her rolling. If you're really serious about using her, her growths are actually pretty damn good if you do decide to use her. She's not bad of a mage, mage character, she's just frail. What do you expect? She's 14 years, or she's 13 years old. And we have Nisala, another Rilgu's Royal, level 27 Raven King. His focus is speed, and he's got a lot of strength and skill to back that up. He's the only Rilgu's Royal to start with an s rank Strike, which I don't know, it kind of works through his character, I suppose. Like, he's a bit shady, non-combatant non type, type kind of guy. And his strength growth, his strength base is pretty damn uh, almost on par with uh, Tabarn, so I guess it's supposed to balance out. He is without a doubt the fastest character in the game, without a, without question. He is the only character in the game that can, the, he's the only playable character in the game that can get a 50 speed cap. Take that as you will. Yes, Maelstrom is a pretty uh, eh, skill. Deals damage of indirect. I prefer. I liked a better one with Vortex and Path of Radiance. Vantage, Form Shift, of course. Shove, Canto, and Tear, which is also the hot uh, Raven's mastery skill as well as the Hawks. And three authority stars. So by now, I've told you that we have to route the enemy. We lose if Nikki dies. Solv dies. Or Sonicky dies. Boss today is Yuma, a bla- Excuse me, Forest Knight. And he's not too bad, really. The Brave Sword is probably going to be really deadly to any dudes who are at a low level. So you're gonna watch out for that. But other than that, Yuma's kinda standard. That's the only thing that makes him stand out from others, the fact that he has a Brave Sword. Well, I think I've rambled on long enough. I think that's how we started this chapter. What do you say, guys? Here are the minions of the Dark God. Go forth, disciples, and deliver the Holy Judgment of the Goddess. Destroy them! Uh-oh. You! All of you! You are all begging the old citizens! I'm so relieved that you're all safe. Sonic, you be careful. I don't know if they're going to be pleased to see you. What are you... Minions of the Dark God, we are the disciples of order, led by blessed Lord Lacane. What? We have been charged with the goddess Ashra to cleanse your taint from the world. Death to the tainted souls! Let none escape! Empress Sonaki, please stay back. These traitors must have sided with the Senate during the coup. 
Apostolic is a fraud. Any apostle defies the edicts of the gods is an enemy to the people. What? No, I. Silence, betrayers of the Empire! How dare you accuse the Empress? Treason can only be punished by death! Yeah, yeah, yeah.